Hey guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Yes, another thrifting video. I know, I know, I know. If you enjoy thrifting or if you enjoy Google hauls or that kind of stuff, you're watching the right video. If you're not into this content uh, on my channel, I do apologize, but mm, it's really part of my life now. Uh, so if you're not into thrifting videos and this isn't for you, uh, just if I'm always going to have thrifting or Goodwill or whatever in the title of the video. So if it's not your cup of tea, there's, I have probably a thousand videos to watch on my channel. So there's lots for you to watch. Uh, but lately, you know, I have this, this habit, maybe obsession with thrifting. And I just love a Portland layover. I mean, um, Goodwill, they just have fantastic things. And everything's like intact. Nothing's like garbage on the shelf. It's whether or not you like the item or not. Blah, 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 blah. So um, if you watched yesterday's thrifting video from Goodwill here in Portland, um, I met an assortment. Assortment is probably the wrong word to use for people. That's better used for chocolates, right? I met a group of ladies that were fantastic yesterday. I only really got one person's name. That was Charity. She really made a big impression on me. A number of them said hi in the comments section, which was really quite exciting. Um, but uh, so I'm going to show you a few things I bought. Not as fantastic and exciting as yesterday's big giant crab bowl. If you didn't see that, go watch that. Um, <laughs> Someone wrote a comment in this section. They've never seen someone so excited to get crabs. <laughs> well, uh, that's a different story. But um, I met uh, a bunch of women yesterday. Charity was one of them. And this was in her cart. So she, like me, must gather everything that she finds interesting, then goes through her cart and sort of eliminates things. This must have didn't make the elimination round because it was on the shelf today. It is a dirty, it's lots of fingerprints, but it's a ceramic decanter of Kentucky bourbon. Now this was made in 1975 to, in anticipation of the completion of the Alaska pipeline, the oil pipeline. You can see the map of Alaska. That's where the pipeline is. This must try to resemble an oil derrick or whatever they're called. In the back, there's a uh, Alaska state flag. And a little bit about the uh, anticipation of the uh, oil, the pipeline being completed in 1977. It was completed in May, I think, of 1977. And I think from what I could find, that oil started flowing in June of 1977. Now, 1977 was a long time ago for some of you, but I kind of remember. Uh, it was a big deal. But uh, this was $5.00. And I've done a little Googling, a little research. There's only one of these on eBay right now. And there have been a number of them that sold over the past five or six years using WorthPoint. I could find that information out. And they usually sell between $30, $35. So I spent five. I just thought it was so novel. The coolest part about this is that the cork is in absolutely perfect condition, as if it were just put on there yesterday. Many of these old-fashioned decanters, um, the corks have rotted away and the, the tops are just resting on there. So I think anybody who collects these sorts of things will appreciate the fact that this is in really pristine condition. So 1975, and it's a pretty good cork. It's aging better than I am. Um, so... Not as exciting as that, but I found these while I was leaving. They're just salt and pepper shakers, but they're made of teak wood. And the bottoms screw out. Rather than being a little thing you have to pry out, you just unscrew this little plastic thing and then fill it with your stuff. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, say, salt and pepper. It could be cinnamon uh, or cocoa for your you know lattes and all that sort of stuff. But really fun little teak wood um, shakers, and they were 99 cents a piece. I don't know why Goodwill prices their salt and pepper shakers individually, because it doesn't make any sense, but I thought they were cute for two bucks. Um, those on eBay should sell for between 12 and $15, maybe. That's my, my guess. This was sitting literally eye level with me, and I didn't see it. Is anyone familiar with... I know. 
Yeah. Um, is anyone familiar with, uh, I'm sure somebody is familiar with the Blanco, B-L-E-N-K-O. Um, they are still in production uh, and they're famous. This is one of their most famous pieces and most popular and most common pieces of glassware that they make. This is the piece in olive. It does not have the Blanco sticker on it, but it does have the signature. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it right there, but it does say Blanco on the bottom there. Um, I paid $5 for it. And this, if you go to the Blanco website, this is $78. So $5, $78. I'm very happy with this. If you have watched any video of me in my living room, I have a cobalt blue one of these uh, in my window along with a big red um, sculptural piece of glass. So this will be included in a collection that might be growing who knows? I have a couple collections now. Uh, I could be selling it because I could easily get maybe $40, $50 for this. And if I spent five and I get 50, I'm happy. So, and this is super easy to ship. I have sold one uh, Blanco water bottle. That's what this is. It's uh, traditionally a, a water bottle. But um, so I was super excited to find this. This color is called olive. I would call it more chartreuse, but I'm not the designer. And I'd say lastly, there's a grouping here of things. And I was about to leave and the um, young lady was pushing a cart with this stuff. And I saw it and I thought, oh, I need to grab it. Um, I did a quick uh, Google search and found that it is definitely worth picking up. Not the most high end item, but it is by a company called Tenshin. T-I-E-N-S-H-A-N. It is made in China, but it is a pattern with unicorns and there's something about unicorns and cats and puppies and things like that that really sell well but this is the creamer the creamer was a dollar 99 this was the uh sugar with the lid perfectly intact for a dollar 99 this is the butter dish with two little um Oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't notice that. So you actually have a unicorn with its horn up no matter what side of the table you're on. How thoughtful is that? Um, this butter dish was $3.99. There is a listing. No, I'm sorry. There was a listing as sold for the butter dish, the cream, and the sugar for $50. Now, if I spent four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine dollars and again, I make $50, that's fine with me. That's a profit I can handle. And these are going to be very, very easy to ship. I'll probably list the butter dish and the cream and sugar separately just because, I don't know, who who needs all three of those? And then I'm probably not going to sell this very easily because no one really uses gravy boats anymore, but it's a gravy boat with a unicorn on it. And um, this, this seemed to sell for probably $20, $25, $30 on eBay and I paid $2.99. So those are profits I can certainly handle. It's just a matter of me listing them because I'm so lazy. But, you know, this is the exciting thing, buying things. Um, I have listed a few things recently, so we'll see if they sell. So that is what I picked up on today's visit to Goodwill. I'm probably going to walk through tomorrow. I can't, I can't imagine that I'm going to find as many fantastic things tomorrow as I have today and yesterday. But ta-da! There you go. So I've included this in its own separate video because I don't want to add it to what is going to definitely be a long four-day trip video that, um, yeah, I keep talking. I should be, well, I should be in the shower right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Fly safe.